Bucket list challenge number seven. Push a Lotus Exiges to the limit around a Cicerone. Uh, this is a hard, hard challenge. Very, very hard challenge. Um, so, as you can imagine, I have been pulling out all the stops as far as turning uh, assists back on. Uh, right now, I've only got the um, I've only got the assisted braking on. Um, but I am willing to turn traction control and other things back on if I see that it will be necessary. So we'll just have to play it by ear here. Let's see what we can get. Alright, go around that corner. And the idea here is to get around this in some kind of fashion without taking too many hits. Success! Alright, we just did it. Just barely got what we needed to make a successful run there. What did we get as far as rewards? Eh, not too many. <laughs> because I turned that assisted braking on. But it is what it is. Um, and there are a couple more hard challenges around here, so I'm probably going to do something very similar for them. All right, guys, we're making the trip to... Oops, oops, hello. <laughs> hello there, Terry. Uh, I, I completely missed you. Uh, we are making our way over to the next next series of events. I have picked the Extreme Off-Road Championship Look at this beast of a car. I had to have it. The local motors. Uh, <laughs> it is just all of the ridiculousness that I need in my life. So this is, uh, as I said, the extreme off-road challenge. This is not the same one that we did before. The other one that we did in this, in this uh, bracket of events, uh, we got first place in. This is a different one in the same category or subcategory of that of the off-road category yeah look at this thing this thing is all kinds of terrific oh yes let's drive let's drive in car for a little while uh, it's got <laughs> it's got the same blind spot that my truck has which is <laughs> rather hilarious <laughs> oh yeah this is great oh, I feel I feel at home in this for some reason. Of all the cars I've driven, this one feels the most homely. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. We got Poppy Halfling 49 in front of us. We got some rain, apparently. And, oh, suddenly, suddenly we are all over the place here. Just a little bit of rain. And now we are, we are through everything. All right. Very good. Got another, another four miles to go. Oh, I like this. <laughs> What does the hood look like? It looks pretty good. Yeah, here on the hood a little bit. Take a look around. We got Diablo, or what looked like Diablo. Uh, I didn't was able wasn't able to read read the. Uh, oh oh. Well, actually, I'm gonna go this way. Thank you. <laughs> Let's just do this. Uh, hopefully, there's not a wall between me and there. Probably is. There's a lot. There's certainly a lot of trees between me and there. Let's get over onto the road again. Since I, I have a feeling there's probably a wall along here that's going to prevent me from just taking the direct route. This looks really cool. <laughs> I like this. I like it a lot. Okay. Not really much of a turn right, is it? More of a more of a meandering. Meandering right. I shall do that. Let's get uh, in the car again, perhaps, as we see Mono Opossum, <laughs> Mono Opossum I should say, did I just say Opossum, that I'm so, I am so terribly bad at that, no it's Mono Opossum, the O is, the O is silent, quite, quite silent, let's, uh, let's see if we can undo this little wreckage here, you would think, I guess, you know why, I, I feel like I constantly run into these guys because I'm always expecting them to dive out of the way and in fact the AI in this game is like nope you know what I'm just gonna keep on going I don't care if there's something in my way or not <laughs> alright oh oh yep yep got it got it 
Okay, we're still doing things. Oh yeah, that, that windshield is, is quite cracked. Let's get out here and get a little bit cleaner view of what's happening. I've been uh, continuing to take pictures along the way here. Try and get as many in the shot as I can. Almost up to 60 now. I suspect there's probably over a hundred of them. So that's going to be something that I'm just going to do as I as I feel the need to do it, not something that I'm going to try to actually complete in the game. Um, let's go this way, because it is, I still stand by my initial assessment that it is incredibly boring, an incredibly boring mechanic. Um, whereas the, like, uh, smashing XP boards and whatnot, it's much, much more exciting, much more fun. Much more fun ways of trying to do that. I just smashed one earlier uh, at the airport. Had to jump over a huge gap to do it. So that is far superior to photographs in my book. All right, the extreme off-road championship. It's a little misleading because some of it will technically be on-road, but that doesn't make it any less awesome. Choose a race and let's start the championship. And by some of it on-road, is it all on-road? <laughs> <laughs> that's a trail race. Okay, so that's technically off-road. Cross-country. Another cross-country. Very good. And then one way up here. All right. All right. So mostly mostly cross-country things, which I, I would expect, honestly. Uh, so let us... Um, where is that one? You mean all the way down there. This one's all the way down off the map. Yeah, I guess no matter which one I pick, they're all in bad positions. So let's just take this one since it's the relatively closest. And I'll meet you guys over there. San Giovanni Extreme Off-Road Trail Race Event Number 1. Oh yes, all, all of the extremes everywhere here. Alright, let's get this race going if I can. And I'm back to my old handicaps. So there's no... Uh, everything is turned off pretty much except for rewinds. I've left those on because missing checkpoints tends to be the hardest problem with these trail races. And once you've missed them, there's no... I mean, you basically have to restart the race. You only get four seconds to go back and re-hit them. And that's usually not enough. <laughs> so, that is why I don't bother with it. Alright, we're getting to a very, very terrible start here. Uh, hopefully we can make up some time with this, the off-roading portion. I did not upgrade this. I probably should have upgraded it a little bit more. This was the low, the low ball uh, uh, car, but I just, I love the look of it. That's why I took it, even though there were better cars out there that I could have selected. This one, this one caught my, caught my eye. And I needed to, to paint it a nice, uh, um, not a rust color. This is not this is not the uh, midlife crisis color. This is more of a brownish color. So there we go. Got that going. And I see the nice nice countryside here, and we're doing some good things. I feel better that I'm back to sort of my my old ways. <laughs> As far as everything goes, um, I think hopefully if everything goes well, I won't have to tweak the difficulty anymore uh, as, as time goes on here. Although I, I say that knowing full well that um, I have, there's a bunch of hard bucket list challenges left and I'm probably going to do my, my normal turning things back on, uh, you know, assisted braking and whatnot. Uh, for those, although a couple of the ones that are left that are hard ones are skill challenges. So I imagine actually having everything turned off probably might actually somewhat work in my advantage, uh, except maybe the traction control. Uh, but we have to see what exactly skills they want to test of mine before we uh, actually see what's going on there. I try to get at least a few bucket list challenges each episode whenever possible because I feel like it gives it breaks up the monotony of having the same courses wow this is <laughs> that was that was a a spin to nowhere 
right there. So let's just see if we can recover from that a bit. There we go. A little bit better. Although I would have preferred to be able to stay on the road a little bit more. But I think I've got a sufficient lead. Oh yeah. Yep, I got a sufficient lead right now. The other thing is too, it feels like the first the first race in all these series, like I dominate on regardless of what settings I have. But then all of a sudden all the other the next races like they just they it's, it's like driving a whole new car and everything's completely different. I don't know why that is. Brilliant, mate. But just there we go. We got first place. Very good. Alright. Let us head on. Let's get our let's get our XP going here. And all the car all the trucks that made this one were the same as mine pretty much. Uh, alright, let's get our all our XP going. We're almost to level 48. Very good. San Giovanni, extreme off-road in the rain, a cross-country event number two. So we'll see how well this guy does in the rain. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing probably not well at all, but we will be off-road, so hopefully that will help a bit. Hopefully we'll be mostly off-road, but uh, we'll see. I still did not upgrade, so uh, we'll have to see what happens here as I do things. Make sure I at least follow these guys. There we go. Very good so far. Very good. Oh wow, wow. Where the hell you, where the hell are you going, car? I did not even I did not even break for that. That car just like, you know what? I'm going this way. Screw you guys. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm going this way. Okay. Alright, Bowler X-Man, you need to. X-Man your way. You need to Magneto your way out of my way. Please and thank you. Alright, so far so good. This car, you I the other thing about this car too is it's got such a wide wheelbase, I felt like it would be good for these off-road things, because you know you can kinda kinda get a little bit more of the, the physics on your side, I would hope. <laughs> then again. That might be the complete opposite of what you actually need for an off-road, but I'm assuming that a wide wheelbase actually helps. <laughs> uh, at least I know being high up off the ground helps because uh, of rocks and whatnot, but uh, I don't know if the wide wheelbase is what you need for that or if that's better suited to street racing or I, I don't know. <laughs> Man, these guys just are suddenly... Suddenly just blowing right by me. Again, it's that weird, like, difficulty spike you get after the first race. It's like all of a sudden everybody's ridiculously good and your car is completely different from what you expect it to be or what it was in the first race, anyway. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that does that. It's very, very strange. Yeah, it's probably just placebo as well. It's probably just me me projecting my own terribleness, <laughs> my own lack of skill on a gameplay mechanic that probably doesn't exist. <laughs> or a gameplay quirk that doesn't exist, I should say. Alright, there we go. Although the other thing is too, it feels like there's a lot of rubber banding back and forth. This is kind of what I was saying before. I think maybe as well to try to make it a little bit more um, wow, what is, where was that guy going? Why is he going this way? <laughs> He's supposed to be going the other way towards towards the actual checkpoint, for crying out loud. Going through trees and everything else and pushing me through trees. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like some of that rubber banding happens also because of, you know, they want it to be more exciting as well. So it could be a, I could be just seeing that and, and also misappropriating uh, my 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 frustration. <laughs> okay, another a W in the column or another check in the W column, I should say. <laughs> let's try let's try to use our phrase the correct phrases for things. Excellent, and a new wheel spin. I got a couple of these banked up actually. My last couple of wheel spins have been rather awesome, I gotta say. I mean, I've gotten, I got 
two uh, Chevy Camaros in a row, two different types of Chevy Camaros in a row <laughs> uh, for the last uh, series of wheel spins. So uh, I don't know what happened. I haven't gotten the perk for better wheel spins. It's just uh, I suddenly am getting all the cars I could ever possibly want. San Giovanni Extreme Off-Road Event Number 3 Cross Country in the Sunshine, finally. Or, well, thankfully, I should say. Alright, let's start this puppy up. And go, go, go. And see what uh, what the road has in store for us. With Bjorn and Woody. <laughs> Beauty, or whatever. However you pronounce that. And I'm the man 2003. <laughs> Apparently he was only the man in 2003. Don't know what he is now. Perhaps he is the woman now. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 that's, that's, that is not, not the direction I wish to, I wish to travel in. Thank you very much. I wish to use these guys as a means to turn. Very good. And we'll come on down here. A little bit, a little bit off-roading. It's nice to have a little bit of a break from time to time. I know, you know, you play, you tend to play racing games, and you tend to go like, oh, I just want to see all the really fast cars, all the super hyper cars, doing their doing their business. And it's cool, it's fun. It is fun to just sit down in a in a Veyron and just and just rock on out the highest speed you can possibly get. Um, but it's also kind of nice to be able to just. You know, kick back and uh, go through uh, go through the countryside, if you will. Appreciate appreciate nature. Oh, oh yeah, hay bales. I had a feeling, I had a feeling that was going to end up in a wrong way territory here. Let's just continue from here. There we go. That is a much better turn. Much much better. Come on up here. The hard part of these is being out in front and not being able to see where to go next. <laughs> well, I feel like I should do one of these on the hood of the car, like I did that one bucket list challenge. That was, I, I watched that video back, and it was actually quite exciting. It wasn't very exciting for me at the time, because, oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen there. It wasn't quite as exciting for me at the time, because uh, I had done it about... 25 times by that point but it was kind of cool to see oh man what is what is going on here how does one how does one do this right <laughs> uh, I hate I hate re relying on these rewinds like this it's such a crutch oh there we go did it again just cannot cannot get that to go right all right there we go well we'll just have to try to recover from it if possible we're at 84% now, so it's probably not possible. That's all right. I don't need to dominate this. I've dominated the last two events. So we'll just just take what we can get here. There we go. Fourth place. Barely. <laughs> With the trash can falling behind. Okay. You're picking up points. Ah, all right. So we're still in the lead, which I... I Pretty much figured. And so there we go. We got 8,000 experience, another 5,000, or 8,000 credits, and then another 5,000 experience. Very, very, very good. All right, I remembered that there was a barn find here to pick up. I just up. heard something on the radio about barn finds. I think we're really on to something. Uh, you think so? You think because it's the only barn out in the middle of nowhere? What the hell? Oh man, you know what this is? Maserati Birdcage. They only made like 17 of these. Cool. We gotta get this back to the garage. Man, that thing is, is all kinds of messed up. Look at how messed up that body is. Holy crap. You basically buy a new one at that point. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the rest it's of like, it. It's like, a, it's like a, a TV or something at that point. It's just, you know, it's time to just buy a new one <laughs> and be done with it. 
All right, we'll be. Uh, I'll be back with some more challenges. All right, there's a pro Dravatar here in a Viper. Let's see if I can just challenge this guy and see if I can make any headway here. I have a feeling it's not I'm not going to be able to do much. Let's try it anyway. Was it two miles away? All right, let me do all my let me do all my cross country sneaky stuff that I can do here. Looks like it's mostly on the road. He is. He is. He is coming up very quickly here. Let me see if I can cut through here. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, car. You can do it. I feel it. I feel that you can do this. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> ah, he still blew right by me over there. Let's see if I can go this way. Let's go through through the fields and see if this helps me get some kind of advantage. It looks like he's he's gonna make it regardless regardless of what I do here. That is what I get for taking on a pro drive guitar. Oh, now we're down in in the city here. This is not gonna do, not gonna go well. Oh, he's yeah, he's way out in front. <laughs> there is there is no way I'm gonna make this one work. Nope, not at all. <laughs> uh, well, I wanted to try it anyway. I figured along the way here, let me try let me try something. 